you. Well, let's get another perspective here. Joining us from Jerusalem is Eugene Kantorovich, director of the International Law Department, Kohelet Policy Forum, and a constitutional and international law scholar at the Scalia School of Law at George Mason University. And Professor Kantorovich, thank you for joining us. So we just had uh, Eric Goldstein from Human Rights Watch saying that uh, Human Rights Watch uh, applies one standard across the board, uh, either be it in this region or globally. Uh, what's your response to that, especially in the context of this report? Yeah, I want to say the allegation of apartheid is ludicrous, and the report looks impressive because it's 250 pages, and if you go through it, as I have, it's a mixture of distortion, misstatement, and complete fantastical invention. And there's a reason that they're using the term apartheid here. Uh, rather than just saying they disagree with the Israeli nation-state law, which is one of the examples they give of apartheid, is a uh, declaratory law that resembles uh, nation-state provisions throughout Europe. But in the case of Israel, they say it's an example of apartheid, because it's one thing to criticize a country. Uh, America, for example, has been criticized by its own president recently for systemic racism, for uh, systemic police uh, killings of, of, of black men, but we don't say America is an apartheid state. You say apartheid because there's only one fix for an apartheid regime, to dismantle the regime. And apartheid, especially in today's times of heightened racial, racial sensitivity, is specifically a call for the dismantlement of the regime. The report's entirely dishonest, but it's also important to understand the agenda. And just to give you an example of singling out Israel, it's not just that they single out Israel. They're writing a report about apartheid in connection to the Palestinians, and they don't mention any of the actual apartheid measures. For example, what would you call a government which pays people to murder an ethnic minority? That's the Palestinian pay for slay law. What would you call a government that uh, bans the sale of real estate to another ethnic group on pain of death? That's, of course, the Palestinian Authority, which bans... Uh, any sale, uh, sale of real estate to Jews. And if you look in Israel and in territories under Israeli, Israeli control, you have Jews and you have Arabs. Where are the Jews living under Palestinian control? There are none because the Palestinians have comp uh, created a Judenrein system. Uh, and indeed, Mahmoud Abbas's demands for a Palestinian state is that the Jews first be cleansed from it. That's the real apartheid, and they don't mention any of that. They don't even mention that the Palestinian, they barely relate to the fact that the Palestinian Authority exists, let alone enforces measures, apartheid measures, against Jews and Arabs. So this just shows, this is just a propaganda work. Right. Uh, now, maybe give us some kind of context, because this report is not coming out of a vacuum. Human Rights Watch, and I think especially its uh, director, Kenneth Roth, has a long history of, uh, uh, let's say, controversy, certainly for those either supporters of Israel or feel that when it comes to Israel, Human Rights Watch has a certain bias. Yeah, Human Rights Watch may do valuable work in other parts of the world, but in relation to its Middle East department, it is, um, it's basically an anti-Israel activist group. Uh, and it starts with his director, Ken Roth, who's obsessed with Israel. The, uh, the predecessor of the gentleman you just uh, had on, uh, Sarah Leah Whitston, uh, uh, former Middle East head of, the, uh, of Human Rights Watch, it turns out that she uh, was an activist. I documented this in an article. She actually raised money for settlements in occupied territory. That is to say, Armenian settlements in occupied Azerbaijani territory while calling for a boycott of Israel because Jews live in Judea and Samaria. So this is not an organization of standards. This is not an organization of international law. This is an organization that, at least in relation to Israel, is a purely activist organization. And uh, just to give you an example of that, they've come out. They're more extreme now than Mahmoud Abbas. In a speech to J Street last week, Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian president, uh, admitted that Israel is not an apartheid state. So Human Rights Watch is out far beyond him. The International Criminal Court, which considers apartheid a crime within its jurisdiction, has never said that Israel is uh, involved in apartheid in any of their uh, reports on Israel. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to move what's called the Overton window. They're trying to move the window of polite discussion about Israel. So even if you reject the report, even if people don't agree, they're still going to have this idea in their head that... Uh, 
Israel has something to do with apartheid. They're trying to make that at least a mainstream, a legitimate view. And I think it's important to begin saying that uh, Human Rights Watch is an anti-Semitic organization. Just uh, in just about 30 seconds, explain that last uh, that last remark specifically about it being anti-Semitic. Ah, okay. So what's anti-Semitism? Um, anti-Semitism means that you treat Jews by a unique set of standards. And as we've said, the standards they're applying to Israel are not, 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 they're not just applied not to other uh, countries. They're not applied to other Western democracies. They're not applied to the United States. And what they're trying to do, what anti-Semitism classically has done, is take what people consider the worst kind of crime and no matter how preposterous, accuse Jews of it. So Jews, were, you know, when everyone was a polytheist, it was monotheism. Then it was, you know, killing Jesus. Then it was capitalism. Right. Then it was communism. Whatever the worst kind of thing was, you know, uh, making Christ making cr blood out of Christian babies, uh, matzah right. out of well, Christian well, babies. Well, 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 it's well, ludicrous. We'll have to leave but it this at is that. the same kind of ludicrous. Right. We'll have to leave it at that. Professor Eugene Kantorovich, thank you for joining us.